Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I've got a, a contraction thing here. Oh, I can't get it apart. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost a. Get things sorted. Right. <laughs> Clonk, clonk, and um, um, like Crash Bandicoot is here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you today? <laughs> this is my list of things to do oh, from the other day. I'm going to do this. Hang on, I'm just moving this. This is from Friday. You see, I haven't been sat at my desk since then, so there's stuff everywhere. Um, <laughs> this is the loosen up thing. Hi, Gems. How are you? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. I should have tidied up before I started, but you know me. <laughs> she throws everything everywhere. A good start to, to a Monday morning, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> morning, Melanie. Morning, Kimberly. <laughs> Good morning. Right, this is what I did the other day. Um, it was the uh, loosen up thing. So I thought instead of just, it's like wasting. It's not really wasting, but paper. I learnt stuff from it. Morning, Lisa. Ooh. I wouldn't want to go back to work after all that time off. <laughs> so I'm just going to split this into, you might think I'm a bit crazy, in half. So if you're hear, hearing screaming girls, it's the, the kids at the bus stop. Is that approximately third? I'm just approximately marking this. This is an A3 bit of paper, so I'm trying to... You'll get what I'm doing in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to chop it. <sighs> Chopping me paper up. I want three, it's going to make six, God, I need to think then, <laughs> it's going to make six paintings <laughs> out of that one bit we did the other day, They're approximately sizes, oh that wasn't bad, and then I'm just going to chop that in half-ish, half-ish, which is about, probably about there, I'm not measuring, I'm just estimating, there we go. <laughs> So I've made some little squares now. Clonk. Right. <laughs> I've chopped that up in squares. You can measure it and um, do like measure it and do it precisely if you so wish to. But I'm I don't I'm not a um, spit pot spot person. Morning, Helen. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I'm going to take these. Maybe I'll do two at a time. Let's find one that's a bit more interesting. Of course, that one's boring, but um, I'm sure it is. Find something. Let's do these two. I'm going to do them like that. No, like that. That way. Actually. Yeah. You're probably going to get what I'm going to do in a minute. <laughs> You're probably going to go, oh. <laughs> I've got a bit of. Um, masking tape here so I'm just gonna roughly stick these on here oh that's this tape's really sticky and I should um, normally I like rub it on my t-shirt or something to make it less sticky so it doesn't pull the paper off so I'm just making a little border around the outside of these that's all very interesting, isn't it? Hope everyone had a good weekend. <laughs> Morning, Stephen. Nice to see you here. <laughs> At least you're not sitting down eating granola. <laughs> I've banished him to upstairs. Oh, you're on day four of the seat. Ugh, that's not good. My my um 
son and his girlfriend had had it, they, they had just sort of recovering. And then it set off my son's allergies really badly as well. So he's had double whammy, had like asthma attacks and things and not good. Sorry, I'm just um, drinking my coffee. <laughs> right, I'm gonna see him in a little bit. <clears throat> so you can see what I'm doing. Let me just move the camera, there we go. <coughs> Sorry, I can't stop you. Uh, I think I've got hay fevery things happening. <laughs> right, now, you know what I'm gonna do, don't you? I've got some acrylic paint. I thought I didn't wanna waste that bit of paper. It wasn't really wasted because it was fun learning things and getting all these um, nice effects. I've got a watercolour pencil here. You can use any pencil you like. And now I'm going to draw flowers that I see in the um, in the sh in the shapes that were made. I'm going to make like a, a poppy here. I'm going to do them quite. Um, what's the word? Um, illustrative, abstracty. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. They're not like more, um, what do you call them? Folky, twee, um, whimsical flowers. Oh, I don't know. Just something. I quite like the scribbly bit up here. I wonder if I can make that into like a, a flower or something. I like that bit, so I'm going to keep that. Might add some more leaves and things to this one. Let's see what I can see here. Well, obviously I see leaves, so I might keep those leaves in, but keep some of the background showing. This might just be a leafy one. I think it's leafy. Just trying to keep the the nice bits of um, watercolor stuff we've got going on around here is pretty that looks like a stem you can just <laughs> do whatever should I do a flower there oh, I don't know I like all this this that's going on in the background but maybe I should do that positive and not negative you know what I mean <laughs> I don't know let's make this a Maybe I'll put that around, like flowery thing. I can draw over the top of it. I've got the ones up that I did last time for inspiration. Um, these ones. That I did before. Well, that one's quite nice. It's got lots of round things happening. I think I did, yeah, I did four of them. They were more... Um, more round things happening. I think I did, had done, um, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> I can't talk and draw at the same time. I'd done um, alcohol, more alcohol ink, I think. Sorry, I haven't been looking at that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just catching up with the chat. <laughs> I haven't said hello to you, sorry I wasn't looking at the chat was it maybe if I move my iPad in front of me I can chat and talk and and do everything else at the same time <laughs> right and then I've got some um these liquitec gouache squash I put the blue with the green and the neutral with the the many colours. I love this colour. It's called parchment and I've used it loads, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. So I'm just going to use it straight out the, the tub thing and I'm going to paint over bits. hope this doesn't get too boring just watching me paint around things. <laughs> I've just got a little flat brush here, like one from one of those cheap sets of aluminium brushes. I can't think of what it's called, Wormlangnickel. 
they do good brushes cheaply as well so this is like a bit translucent this paint as well so and it, it can make it opaque so it's good for doing this and then I'm just going to paint around what what we've done Sorry, I've missed what's going on in the chat, so um, I'm sure I'll catch up later. <laughs> Stephen can update me. <laughs> Too busy concentrating on what I'm doing. I can't, can't talk, talk, read and paint all at the same time, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I surpass myself and I can, I can manage it. <laughs> this morning I can't. Oh, Kimberly's asking how the garden's coming along. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Um, I will do a video <coughs> of it soon. Slowly. I've got, like, I don't know. I'm still getting rid of loads of rubbish from, from the EX. <laughs> I could just say X, but I, I, still, I still can't get over, like, how much stuff that it's just. No, I'm not going to think about that anymore, I think. <laughs> it's getting there, it's really nice. It's all tidy and there's space and there's lots of places to sit and it's really... And the, my greenhouse, little greenhouse, blew away in the storms in the winter and we turned it into, like, we just cleared it out and we've turned it into a little place where we, we can just sit and I'm going to hang lots of danglies and lights and things in there and hoping it'll be a nice little place. It hasn't got a roof, <laughs> but it'll be sheltered from the wind. Um, I was hoping it'd be a nice little place to sit and paint or sit and just chill, really. It'll be good. <clears throat> Yeah, as you see on Facebook, I get like selling off stuff. I've got so much stuff, so much stuff. <laughs> the stuff I can't burn, unfortunately. <laughs> it's um, loads of bricks and pavings and oh god, I've still got loads. There's just like tons. It's slowly getting and cupboards, <laughs> furniture. So much furniture. It's all crap stuff as well, so um, it's not really worth saving, really. But I've put some up that can be um, used, but people keep coming in two smaller cars to pick up the stuff. It's like, why would you come to pick up stuff with two kids, your wife, and your boot full of tools? It's just like, okay. <laughs> That's really going to fit in your car, no? That's sort of one. <laughs> I'm just going to drink drink my coffee and catch up with the chat. <laughs> mm. Now I don't do tongue out concentration. Helen, I'm a heavy breather, so if you hear me like breathing really heavily, that's my concentration. <laughs> my sister always like, takes the piss out of me for it. So this is really nice blue, it's called light blue. <laughs> it's a liquid taste. If anyone wants to know, these are the um, matte acrylics, and they're really nice. I wouldn't say they're completely matte though, that's the only thing. They still have a slight, um, they're not like gouache, gouache, acrylic gouache, they're more, they still have a slight sheen to them when they dry, which is weird to call them a matte acrylic when they're not matte. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, rough <laughs> breather. <laughs> We've been watching Stranger Things. <laughs> it's really good. I watched it. Watched it before. I haven't watched the new episodes yet. I'm catching up, and I've forgotten half of it. Was it like 2016? It came out. I've forgotten how good it is. I think it's better the second time around, actually. Maybe I'm paying more attention. I don't know. Or maybe it's the company. Yeah, it's probably true, Melanie. They pull them automatically so they can charge more. <laughs> They're expensive enough as it is. It was my treat. <laughs> and I haven't really used them that much. Maybe I should. I haven't been doing much painting, really. I've been gardening. So I haven't really sat at my desk. I found a new love for my um, iPad, though. I can just sit there and it doesn't mean that I have to get all my paints out and everything and I just like draw on that. I've made some nice things. <laughs> this is quite, you need quite a lot of concentration for this. <laughs> I've lost myself. Where am I? What am I doing? There we go. I don't know why they went round that one like that. And you can make these, um, like I said, you can make these lighter so the background shows a bit not lighter, more watery, and then the background shows. And then you can make them more opaque by going over it a bit thicker. It's quite therapeutic doing this actually. I mean, I like doing my morning lives because it's just time for me to sit down and sit down and chat and. <laughs> talk to everyone and just paint. I don't know if that's got a bit confusing there, but I'm confused, but <laughs> I think you can see what's going on. Yeah, sort of it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have too long off. <laughs> it's weird coming back to painting after you haven't painted for a while. I'm just I'm just using my um pencil to um define areas and draw in bits and um, I'm not sure quite sure but you know <laughs> you know how it works. Maybe I can draw over the top here. I was going to wait for it to dry a bit and I was going to get some ink on it, but maybe not. Some inky bits, like I did in the one over there. But maybe pencil's enough. I was going to do um, some light. I think I'll just stick to the pencil. If I draw that in like that. I've got so many oh, lovely flowers at the moment. It's just like the amount of Daisy type flowers. I think I've got a thing for daisy type flowers. I had to cut down my fever few, which made me upset. <laughs> but I've got it here. Do you want to see it? So you can see my head. I don't know why. Fever few is a. It's like a. Uh, people can use it for. Um, you've got bad hair. You're supposed to eat the leaves. Look! Let's take over the whole camera. I've got a massive clump of it, but it's so pretty and it stinks. 
It's got a weird smell. <laughs> but they're so pretty. I'm going to have to paint them. They're, they're just lovely. I've got them in like a massive bowl. Just put them back. I'm still here. <laughs> I forget that my microphone on my because I'm just using my phone at the moment. It's not brilliant. So I'm sorry if I go quiet. <laughs> They're so pretty. They got a weird smell, those bulbs. And I'm just filling in some gaps. smell like cat weed. <laughs> it's got a weird smell. It doesn't, I don't, I wouldn't call it cat weed. There is a plant that smells really like cat weed. It's, um, that have pink flowers, like, it's a big bush. I had one in my old garden and it, it's really smelly. <laughs> it has like pink flowers, like, Droppy flowers, I don't know what it's called. I'm not very good with names of plants. I'm also not very good with house plants that need lots of water. I'm good with succulents and things. I think these are finished. So shall I do the unpeeling of the tape? <laughs> Cyril doesn't smell a cat. Oh, he does sometimes. I keep finding eggs in my garden, like whole eggs, buried. Um, it's supposed to be like foxes that do that, but I have never seen a fox in my garden. I was just wondering what else would steal them. I'm thinking like maybe it was like the jackdaws or the crows or something but I'm not sure if they hide things away I don't know if anyone watching is a bird person would birds hide eggs I don't know, would they eat eggs yeah I know maybe crows and that do magpies got a lot of magpies lately never had magpies in my garden until this year now there's loads of them It might be that, Lisa. <laughs> it, they, they grow into a big bush. <laughs> they weren't necessarily buried. They were like um, in in amongst the undergrowth, <laughs> hidden sort of thing. It's weird. This has a little bit more interest to this one. It's a bit blue. Yeah, I know foxes do, but I was just weird because um, I've nev never seen a fox in my garden. It's not like down in Sussex, you see loads of foxes everywhere. Up here, I've never seen, I've seen one fox in the six years I've been here, like nearish the village, because they've got so much like countryside to run about in up here that I don't think they bother. But I suppose their food gets a bit short and they come and meet the chickens in the allotment, <laughs> come and get the eggs and that. Yeah, it might be a fox. Maybe they're getting urban up here. <laughs> and I know Cyril doesn't go out in the evenings much, so maybe it's just that. I think the kids are camping in the garden tonight, so I, I will ask them to um, keep an eye out. For foxes. <laughs> Hi Jose. <laughs> Buenos dias. I like saying that. That's the only thing I can say. 
Right, I'm going to take off the tape now to um, it makes it look that this just looks really pretty. Even though you'll see, still see the underpainting because we chopped it up, didn't we? I still got like all the others to do, but I won't be doing those this morning. Oh, thank you, Melanie. They're, they're always really effective. So I'm going to do these. Just get off. Sticking. <laughs> See, the tape this tape's really sticky and if I use this tape I get complaints that it distracts <laughs> because it's got writing on it but that's a really good tape that's the tape I, I'd use you know if I'm not videoing or something it's because it doesn't pull the paper up at all this is just blue separators tape and it's really sticky <laughs> They look nicer when, when the tape's all off. <laughs> oh. See, it doesn't want to come up. Oh, try and pull away from the, <laughs> the painting. This is just annoying me now. Come on, there we go. There we go. So, and then I'm going to do the, do the rest when I have time. <laughs> do these ones. So they were like the ones I did the other day as well, weren't they? The negative painting things. But did I use? I just use watercolor, didn't I? Watercolor? Oh, I don't know. <coughs> but yeah, that's nice. It's really pretty. It's quite textury. Yeah, if you can see. Hold it up. <laughs> I will. I will put these up on, when I finish them all, I will put them up as a collection <laughs> on my um, on my website, michellecroll.com and they'll be really cheap because um, they're small and they're just like my playing around with things but they're really effectively nice so if you want an original piece of art that's small, <laughs> I will put them on there but um, it won't be for until after next week. Next Sunday is my open garden <laughs> and open studio, so I've got to maybe, maybe they'll sell at my open studio, hopefully. Maybe, possibly, anyway. <laughs> right, thank you for joining me, everybody. I'm going to be going off now because we've, we've got loads of things to do. I've got charity shops to go to to like dump off a load of stuff. The tip, we've got like a massive car full, maybe two car fulls, and everything. So, um, got to do that anyway thank you for joining me please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already <clears throat> i do lives every weekday morning at 7 30 a.m british summer time and please join me it might be a bit hit and miss this week it depends how busy i am and how i feel about my god <laughs> but i think i'm not panicking as much now because it's coming together anyway have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are. Thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.